Hey again, it's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I'm Stephanie Arniel and I am back and we're still in the Encino Park area. And this beautiful one story house is three beds, two baths, just over 2,100 square feet and is only $3,885,000 to be in such a sought after neighborhood. Um, brick has the gutters, big trees, quiet street. And you're going to learn some fun quirks about my OCD as we go through the ho this house. I can't lie to you. So here's my phone number. So you can call me, text me, holler at me when you want to come see this one. Uh, I'll also put it all up at the end again, but I can't wait to show you this. Let's get going. All right, this house starts with a beautiful storm door. And then a mostly solid front door. As you come in, you're greeted by just a nice open living floor plan here. And here's where you're gonna start to see it because look at these beautiful carpet lines. Like I can't even walk you across the carpet because I'm so obsessed with how beautiful the carpet looks. Sorry, trying to get the front door to close, there we go. Okay, but look, like I can't even, it's gorgeous. They have speakers in for surround sound, a wood burning fireplace, nice high ceilings and then all the common areas are over here all the bedrooms are back this way so let's go back this direction we pass the air conditioner handler closet which looks like it's in such great shape um, and it says it's from 2020 so it's just a couple years old we've got the garage next which also doesn't even have really steps it's got like a two inch lip down and you pass the water heater big two car garage garage door opener with a sprinkler system some wire shelves your electric panel attic access and a massive water heater which is from 2015 so it's a little bit older but as long as it's making hot water you just got to have it checked and it is plumbed for a water softener here Let's go in and see some bedrooms, shall we? Oh, wrong switch, sorry. Okay. So this line of, or this hallway, this line of doors is all the bedrooms. Bedroom number one, and I'm telling you guys, I can't even go on this carpet because the carpet lines, the vacuum lines are so beautiful. I'm, I'm not doing it. I can't mess up their carpet. So <laughs> white ceiling fan. Uh, not a huge window in this bedroom, but it's a decent size and has just kind of a standard size closet over there. Humor me, guys. I can't. I can't mess it up. I can't do it. And I won't. And you can't make me unless you want me to come show you in person and let you walk on it. <laughs> All right. Hall closet. And then directly across from that is the first bathroom, which has one vanity with a really, really big long mirror, lots of counter space, toilet, tub shower combo. Nothing super exciting, basic secondary bathroom. There's another hall closet right next to that. So storage is on point y'all. And then across the hall is bedroom number two, which again is a really good sized bedroom. And again, we're not stepping foot in because I'm not going to be the one to mess up these carpet lines. Like it's beautiful. <laughs> Still not a huge window. This closet is a little bit bigger, but still not massive. But let's go visit the primary suite. This one is worth it. I do have to admit, we're gonna step on a couple pieces of carpet to show you some of this because it's beautiful. So down at the end of the hallway is your primary suite. It has its own alarm panel here in the bedroom, which I think is a great idea. Lots of big windows, giant floor space. Big, 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 big walk in closet. Yay! I love a good closet. And then as we come back this way, I'm sorry to the carpet. <laughs> we have the primary bathroom. It's got a double vanity in it with a large mirror and lots of lighting. And then there's a big, deep tub. Kind of a builder spec shower 
nothing super fancy. They did put the tinted or the frosted glass up, which makes my heart happy. This is, you know, a toilet. Nothing real exciting. But then look at this other door. I went past it. Look at this, look, 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 you ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> it's another walk-in closet, y'all. I'm obsessed. There is so much storage in this house. I don't even know. I'd have to go shopping to fill it, I think. I would do it. I would. All right, let's go check out the common spaces for this house. Okay. Whoop. Trying to just get the lights as we go so I don't forget any of them because that's my paranoia. I don't want to leave somebody else a mess. Okay, <sighs> back out into the living room. We've got living and dining space. Love that chandelier, by the way, personally. I don't know what y'all think of it, but I think it's very cool. And then there's a pass through to the kitchen. I like the architectural detail of the archways. And then look at all this cabin counter space. Lots and lots of counter space. Pantry. Oh, here, let's step in and show you. Lots of cap of shelving. And then my least favorite feature of the house is that the laundry room shares with the pantry. But I guess at least there's a door to block the sound out. I don't know. I have mixed emotions. Um, but black appliances, just the Formica countertops. But look at this big, deep Kohler over the over cabinet sink. There's definitely a lot of cabinets and drawers and plenty of room to still put upgrades and put your own mark on this house as you're able, willing and able. And then just an eat-in kitchen area. So honestly, I might would convert that to just one big living space over there and have huge family room space and eat here. But I also really like that light fixture. Tell me what you think. And then let's go in the backyard. So it's a sliding door. They do have a built-in screen also, which is a nice feature. And then there's a uh, tile patio, a covered patio with a fan. And look at all the landscaping work they did out here. Such cool attention to detail. These are the only steps in the house. It's like two steps down into the backyard. It's brick on all four sides. Over here, we've got the AC unit, lots of grass for the pets. So zen and calm. I'd put a couple benches out here personally, create some, like a hammock, create a good reading space. It's just so calm. Gutters all the way around. And then this actually backs up to a little green belt space. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, that squirrel just freaked me out, y'all. Okay. Okay. So lots of greenery. Lots of space to just have privacy. And then that green belt so you don't have any neighbors right back behind you. It's an easement for the power lines. Okay. So what do we think of this one? I know it's a little more expensive than the last one and has one less bedroom, but the bedrooms are big. The storage is amazing. This backyard is so peaceful, except for that squirrel that freaked me out a minute ago. Uh, I'm not even going to edit that out. I'm going to let you guys see me cra be crazy. Um, but 385, kind of, kind of pricey, but it's in a really sought after neighborhood. Tell me your thoughts because I'm dying to know. Call me, text me, email me, comment below, like, share, and subscribe, hit the alert button, whatever you got to do. Don't miss any of my fun videos because I'm crazy lady and who doesn't want to watch crazy lady? Uh, as always, I'm Stephanie Arneal. I'm your favorite San Antonio realtor. 
I'm gonna go keep looking at houses and I will see you on the next one.